Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's Mordy and Glory here with a Christmas update. Yep, yeah, that is how dedicated I am to this channel and to you guys. I am releasing a video on Christmas or around Christmas. I mean, I'm recording it today on the 22nd um, and I'm just hoping to get it out on Christmas. If I don't, it'll be, you know, maybe Boxing Day, whatever. doesn't matter. Hope you've all had an absolutely fantastic Christmas. I uh, hope or if you've not celebrated Christmas, you're celebrating something else. I just hope you're having a good time. So, I just thought I would spend a short amount of time just looking at, looking back on how the channel has done since I, uh, since it's sort of gone in the direction of looking at Warhammer 40k. Um, it's been a, a hell of a ride, hell of a journey. Um, still a way to go, I would like to think, I hope. Um... And yeah, I've learned lots about making videos and, and just YouTube in general and about, you know, the amazing, just amazingness of people because I would never have believed that my channel would get to where it is today. And, you know, we're still, we're still relatively small, but it's, it's nice to know now that, you know, people see, you know, the Morning Glory video and they sort of, they, even if they don't watch videos, they've heard the name. I mean, I see, it's, always, it's a strange feeling and I never quite get over it when I see someone referencing me in a, in a forum or something. Like, oh, have you seen the latest Morning Glory video? Or, or, you know, Morning Glory says you should try these tactics. And it never, you know, it always, always, you know, it's just an interesting feeling. It's, it still takes me by surprise because I never would have thought that anyone actually listens to me or, you know, takes me seriously. But it, it's great. And I've, obviously it's fantastic that you, I've got all these subscribers now, all these viewers that watch these videos and have found my videos useful and fun to watch. I mean, that's the whole point at the end of the day. Um, so, yeah, I just thought we would spend some time today looking back on how the channel has grown uh, since, you know, recently, in the last year or so, and where, where we plan to take the channel, where we plan to go. Um, so, yeah, looking back... I can't even remember when the uh, when I even switched over to uh, making Warhammer videos. I initially got into YouTube to make Let's Plays for video games. Um, and I liked, I did uh, the Command & Conquer Let's Plays. So I did uh, the original Command & Conquer. I did Tiberius Sun. I, I did, uh, um, what's the other one called? I can't remember now. Um, Emperor Battle for June. I did a KOTOR Let's Play because everyone and their mums does a, does a Knights of the Old Republic Let's Play. It's like a rite of passage as a YouTuber. Um, but, I, I, you know, when I, before I started doing Warhammer videos, I had about 50 subscribers. And, I, I, you know, I put videos up relatively infrequently. Um, and, yeah, it was just something I did to take my time in, in university. Uh, that's basically that's when I started doing it. I was a student. I had a lot of spare time in between the ball aching amounts of sort of coursework that you have it comes in feasts and famine um and so i decided to do let's plays uh, but i never really got anywhere and then i had a break I had about a six month break and i, was, I came back i came back to uh youtube and i thought i want to do something that i actually know about because a lot of the time with these let's plays you don't really know what you're doing and the, the one let's play that i did that got the most views was when i actually knew what i was doing I think that's the Emperor Battle for June Let's Play, and everyone found it quite useful. And that got me thinking, like, I was thinking, I've been playing Warhammer for years and years and years, and I've been playing Imperial Guard for years and years and years, and you never, and I just remember being on YouTube just as a, a as a viewer, and being like, oh, I must have seen every Imperial Guard battle report. I must have done. Because Imperial Guard, when I started doing YouTube, and for the longest time, were just an unpopular army. Just really unpopular. Um... The only times you ever saw them was when they were being the punching bag for some big YouTuber's video. Um, and all you ever used to see was Imperial Guard losing. And all you ever saw on the forums was Imperial Guard losing. And it was it sort of made me realise that I wasn't doing too badly with my Imperial Guard in 6th and 7th edition. I was doing pretty well. I had my tips and tricks. Um, and I thought there's a lot of bad advice out there on the internet and a lot of advice like in an echo chamber where one person said something once and it gets repeated over and over again um and a lot of advice where people who are non-space room players were giving advice to guard players on 
places like Daka Daka. That's where my sort of original stomping grounds were, was Daka Daka. Um, uh, and yeah, and I just thought there's so much bad advice out here and it's very disheartening when you know, you go into a YouTube video and you just know it's, you know, Imperial Gravis' Necrons, well, we know who's going to win there. Imperial Gravis' Tower, well, we know who's going to win there. Very disheartening. Um, and I thought it was time that somebody, well, I often said to myself, I wish somebody would actually give some good advice out on these YouTube videos. And then it sort of hit me like, well, why don't I do it? I know, I know what I'm talking about and I've got all these ideas and these tricks that a lot of people don't use and it'll hopefully give be a bit of a boost to morale from Pearl Guard players in general. So that was the reason behind it. I was just sick and tired of seeing shitty advice and I decided to do something about it. So started putting out um, YouTube videos for, you know, focused on the Imperial Guard focused on tactics in 7th edition because 7th edition in Imperial Guard was, was a tough time and even with all my tips and tricks I probably had a 50% win, ra re win ratio in casual games and in tournament games it was more like a 30%, 40% win ratio but that was still much better than what a lot of people had. Um, so yeah, it was just this this crazy sort of idea that I had and I decided to put up my first videos um yeah my first videos I'm just trying to find what what was the first video I ever put up on YouTube for the Imperial Guard there it is Warhammer 40k tactics Imperial Guard and 7th edition it was 15 minutes long and it got two it got 2,000 views and I put that up in October 22nd 2016 um and i got an absolutely amazing overwhelming positive feedback for that video i mean it's got 50 likes 19 comments you know absolutely amazing feedback and i thought hang on there's something here you know something here and that's where it sprung from and then i just put up video after video and i was trying to get this point across to the guard commanders that in seventh edition infantry is the key to success and that's if you go back and watch my seventh edition videos it was every single video or the vast majority of videos was me going on and on hammering this point home infantry a key infantry a key infantry a key um and it started it was interesting you started seeing you know after after six months i did start seeing the effects you know People in forums would stop recommending, you know, don't bother with Liam Russes, you know, for every Liam Russ you can get X amount of conscripts and infantry. And that was really, that was when I sort of realised six months ago, I was thinking, hey, holy shit, you know, there's something going on here, you know, we're, we're seeing the Imperial Guard, you know, commanders responding to these videos and it gave me a really good, you know, really good feeling that I felt like I was making a difference and so I just carried on doing it. And obviously going into 8th edition, um... All those, I mean, it might, we may have, the infantry has been nerfed pretty hard now, sort of six months into 8th edition. But at first, all the, all you guys were, you know, it was good that I'd been giving you the advice. Get the, get the uh, infantry, get the infantry. Because when 8th edition dropped, a lot of Imperial Guard commanders were in a really good spot with all these mass infantry armies. And I still argue now that even though conscripts have been nerfed, mass infantry armies are still really, really powerful in 8th edition. Really, really powerful. So that's sort of where where we've come from that's where that's where we are i mean at this point now looking um looking at the analytics page a lifetime of the channel from august 6 2013 to december 20th 2017 minutes watched 3 million 702 thousand minutes watched average duration uh eight minutes uh 456,393 views 11,600 uh, likes, 543 dislikes, uh, 5,266 comments, and number of videos in total is 4, it's not telling me, where's my number of videos, I'm trying to find it. 
There we go, 447. 447 videos and 2,462 subscribers, something like that. Yeah, so there you go, that's that's the channel. That's where we are now, we're a decent size, you know, about 2,500 subscribers. We're hoping, you know, we're steadily growing, get a few every week, which is great. I think when we get to 3,000 subscribers, that's like a big, that's a big landmark. It's a big, big landmark. Um, but yeah, I mean, the channel has really come on leaps and bounds. When I started, before, when I started doing YouTube videos, I had 50 subscribers. Now I've got 2,500, you know, it's just crazy. Um, yeah, so absolutely fantastic. And we've done the, so what I want to say is where, where are we going with the channel? Where, where, where do I want to take the channel? Well, I just want to, I want to still take the channel in the direction of this format which I've been doing, which is doing battle reports and then after action reports. That's what I feel is it's better than me just talking into a microphone. Because it lets you guys see some of the shit that I'm experimenting with. Now, a lot of the time when I do these battle when I do the battle report videos, it's because I'm ex I'm experimenting and I'm trying something out new. And I like to capture that learning process on video. So I'll have an idea, sometimes a good idea, sometimes a bad idea, and I'll throw it out there and I'll do a bat I'll do a video, battle report, and then you guys can see, you know, what, what things work, what things don't work. Because I think it's all well and good to be speaking to a microphone, but sometimes you need to see it. You need to see the units working in action on the table. So that's why we've been starting to do a lot more battle reports. You guys probably noticed we're doing like weekly battle reports now. You know, it's not always going to be weekly. So, you know, it's going to be like fortnightly and stuff. Um, but you can see we're pushing more battle reports. But the key thing about the battle reports isn't really the report itself. It's the after action bit after it's where I go through what I've learned, what worked, what didn't work, you know, unit tactics that worked, weapon choices that worked. And I think that's really powerful. And then, so that sort of takes off about, you know, two videos a week. Um, I do want to try and get to do five videos a week, one from Monday to Friday. It's not always possible. You know, it's not always possible. Um, it, on average, it turns out to be about three to four videos a week. Um, but, you know, I like to do a, a battle report and then after action report and then a tactics video and then like a Black Templar Friday video. And that's what, that's sort of, that's the format that we're going for. And it seems to be working. I mean, I, I, I can see that my... Battle reports don't get as many views as my normal tactic videos. I can see that, and that's fine. Not everyone wants to spend, you know, 20 minutes watching a battle report. And I, I'm fine with that. That makes sense, you know. A lot of the time, you guys want to stick a video on, just go get back, you know, get painting and just listening. That's what, that's the bread and butter of the channel. And, you know, we'll, we'll keep trying these these video battle reports followed by after action reports. We'll keep trying that, and, you know, hopefully it'll, 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 it'll work. Uh, but if it doesn't work, it, it you know, pfft, doesn't matter. We're just trying different things. So that's the, but you know, that's the, that's the aim. That's sort of the focus. That's the direction we're going to be going in 20, 2018. And it's interesting for you guys to give me some feedback on that. Do you like the battle reports followed by after action reports? Do you prefer if I just did the tactics videos? Um, what do you think about the Black Temple Fridays? I mean, the Black Temple Fridays, I think are quite, they're a bit like they're very hit and miss. A lot of people love them. A lot of people don't even bother tuning in to watch them. Uh, they have changed. They were initially like only going to be about Black Templars, and now it shouldn't really be called Black Templar Friday. It should be called Casual Friday because it's where we discuss anything and everything. It's a it's a free for all idea. It's, you know, it's just a what they what do they call it like um, brain dump. That's all it is. It's just a stream of consciousness. It's a relaxing time. It's where we we get our battle stories out the way we get you know questions about anything you know it's you can talk about anything sometimes what i'm a focus not always what i'm a focus you know i've you know if, if i've had a tough week on work i'll you know i'll vent on that or whatever and you guys have you know responded in kind on that it's just i feel that like back time of fridays are a key part because it allows us to just take a step back and remember the important bit about 40k which is that it's fun or it's meant to be fun anyway and if you find yourself not having fun then you know what's the point so you've got to be you know got to be casual um so yeah that's sort of the 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 direction of the channel that's the the focus going forward um you know we want to keep doing uh 
well on Patreon. We've got absolutely, you know, the Patreon response has been, again, absolutely overwhelming. I'm just going to have a look now, see where we're up to. I haven't checked it. I normally check it every every day, but I haven't checked in a couple of days. With you know, talking about being busy at work, man, the the push until the end of Christmas was tough. I can tell you. Yeah, the Patreon um, thing is going really well. I can't believe I got a single Patreon, let alone that I've actually got 39 Patreons. And you guys are all coming together and you're donating $131 a month, which is fantastic. Learned a lot about Patreon. Learned a lot about Patreon. Um, so even though, you you know, it's one of those things where you're donating $131, I, there's Patreon fees and then there's PayPal fees. And they're done on, I thought it was done on like just an overall basis. So 5% of my 131 is what gets taken off me. And then, you know, whatever Patreon, uh, whatever PayPal takes. But it's actually 5% and then PayPal fees for each individual transaction. So I only really see, because I've got a lot of $1 supporters. Um, I only really, and once it gets converted from dollars to pounds as well. I only really see about, about half of it, to be honest. So even though it's like $131, it comes to about £70, roughly, which is still absolutely fantastic. But it's for, for some of you will probably be thinking, you know, how come, it, you know, there's $131, yet we only see, you know, occasional large purchases with the Patreon money. That That's simply just because I save it up until I get something big, and then I go and, and, then, I, and then I go and get it, get the, the big purchase at once. So... For example, all that all that terrain and the battle mats and everything. I saved up like two or three Patreon um, amounts and then used that to, to purchase the new terrain and stuff. Um, all I can say is thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody for your Patreon support. It really is crazy that to me, you know, it still gets me very excited, get a little... You know, funny feeling inside. It's just like, oh my god, I got Patreon support. Wow, you know, it makes me feel official, makes me feel legit. Uh, but yeah, just thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who supports the channel. You know, those of you who give huge amounts, those of you which just give little amounts, absolutely every single dollar really, really is appreciated. Really, really, you know, I can't, I can't say it enough. Um, you know, thank you so much to everyone who has supported me. I'm just going to take a look before we finish. We're going to have a look at who's the number one Patreon supporter for 2018, uh, 2017. Let's take a look. Oh, it is Lance Bennington. You've been mentioned uh, once before on the channel, Lance, but uh, I'm obviously going to mention you again. You have, you are, if you are pledging $20 a month. Absolutely fantastic. Lance Bennington. Number one Patreon supporter, followed by uh, Darian Gaffey, $10 a month. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and then after that, we've got Temba, Camille, Nathan. Thank you, all of you. I'm going to go through the whole list. I'm going to say thank you to every single one of you. Thank you, Kirby, Dagan, Steve, Austin, Peter, Xavier, James, Derek, Rodriguez, uh, Tom... Sultan, um, Swifty Thumbs, <laughs> Swordfish Thumbs, uh, <laughs> Diego, Jind, Johnny, Legio, Peter, Rans, Carl, Ryan, uh, Ivan, Daniel, Colonel Appendix, Daniel again, Daniel again, Daniel Burke, I should say, uh, Mark Hills, Matthew, Doom Mouse, Doom Mouse, I should say, Doom Mouse, Matthew, Etler, Bogdan, Ponybus, Alexander, Alan, Blitzwig1, Z, Zeobs, and Nima Abadi. Thank you, all of you, so very, very much for your support. Every single one of you is an amazing person. And for those of you who wish you could support but, but can't for whatever, all my loyal subscribers, viewers, all I can say is thank you so much. It's been an amazing year for YouTube. Absolutely fantastic. All your support, all the comments, all the subs, all the, the Patreon. Absolutely. All the views. Just absolutely fantastic. Love all the support. And I really feel like together we're building this proper sort of forum, this community where people know 
to come for guard advice, guard tactics, and we share our ideas and our tactics. I have learned so much from you. You guys have learned from me. And, you know, we're seeing the results. Eighth edition dropped and the rage around the guard was immense. The salt was intense. And I like to think that it's all of us coming together on this channel, sharing our ideas, improving our, uh, the commanders, improving ourselves as commanders. I like to think that this channel was a, made a significant impact on causing industrial levels of salt in our opponents. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic remainder of your year merry christmas and i'll see you guys next time maybe i don't know if i have a chance to do many more videos for 2017 i might give myself a little bit of a time off and you may see me before new year or you may see me in 2018 we'll keep it loose we'll see how it goes but thank you thank you thank you once again and i'll see you guys next time